Back in 1972, that I started uh, working for Yamaha, writing their uh, method books and uh, for Canada, etc. I was on a committee for that, and really that's where the Music Educators Institute started. Since then, uh, I've personally taught literally thousands of students. I've written 15 method books, uh, been awarded twice Best Instrumental Group of Artists of the Year award. Uh, have coordinated uh, a few music schools and the one that the Music Educators Institute was born from we had approximately 400 students at any given time physically going to the school mainly guitar and piano and so as the courses were developed we uh, they were our, our students were basically the uh, guinea pigs for it which was fantastic in 1995 is when uh, we decided to uh, put courses online. That's when the internet was still quite in its infancy. And at that time, uh, I was doing a lot of teacher training. So there were teachers right across uh, mainly Canada, uh, some in the States, and we needed a way for them to access uh, lessons, et cetera, et cetera, lesson plans. Uh, and courses, uh, we were developing courses at that time. And that's when we started working with the Ministry of Education. And so the courses that you're seeing here, we started with guitar. And at that time, uh, so through the, uh, the 90s, 1995, till about 2002, we had guitar courses. And they were strictly and solely being offered through the Ministry of Education for credits for students and also for uh, teachers that were accessing the courses for their students, uh, teachers that I had taught. And so after that, uh, the piano courses uh, came online. And so since then, uh, we've developed, uh, there's at this moment being offered to the general public five guitar courses. Really, there's a sixth one that integrates uh, the classroom one and classroom two guitar uh, uh, parts of the, the both of them. So I would say there's five guitar classrooms and then there's three piano classrooms. And uh, they cover, uh, we've had to assume in the courses, and, and one of the beautiful things about the courses is that they assume the very beginner that knows nothing. They're sitting in a cabin with an out of tune guitar sitting in the corner, you know, uh, and all they have are these courses online. How do we take them from that place of knowing nothing to working through the ranks of being uh, an awesome guitar player? And so there's a lot of material in these courses. Wherever you're at, whatever's uh, motivating you at the moment, you can uh, access that particular course. For instance, if you uh, you want to just play some good rock and roll and blues and stuff, well, you can bypass the classical stuff and you can bypass the sight reading and the theory and go straight into the stuff that deals with lead playing, uh, 12 bar blues, and all that sort of stuff. But then again, if you uh, are a person that would love to finger pick while you're, you're writing your songs, whatever. And uh, so these courses now at this stage of development are incredibly refined. We continually are looking at them, revising them. As technology moves on, we, we move with it. There's a video for every lesson. There's whatever type of learner you are, if you're a visual learner, uh, we've got the visuals for you. If you're an auditory learner, we've got that. If you're reading paper, we've got that. It's all really exciting. And so now I'm in charge of, of the Music Educators Institute itself. And up until now, this now being December 15, 2011, 
uh, up until this point in time, you had to be a Ministry of Education student going for credits to uh, access these courses. We've now decided to allow the general public access to them. And so uh, for that department, uh, we have Mr. Jim Stade here, fantastic, wonderful guy, heart of gold, uh, really organized, and not to mention, not a bad guitar player himself. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> My name's Jim Stade, and I've been in the public education system for over 31 years and uh, working in uh, school classrooms all over Canada. And uh, my passion is guitar, and I'm so excited to be a part of the Music Educators Institute and, and bringing musicality to the world through our incredible courses. As a teacher, I look for sequence, I look for optimal learning, and the MEI courses are multi-modality courses, as Chris mentioned. It appeals to all types of learners, and we will give you feedback if you want to write us and with any questions you have, jstate at mei.canada.com. My email will be on the site. You can let me know at any time. But just to let you know, we don't get a lot of questions through the thousands of students we've had over the years because our programs are so well laid out. You won't have any difficulty knowing where you're going. And we're so excited to have you on board. Mm -hmm. Now these piano courses, uh, they've gone through the same rigorous training uh, and just fine tooth, comb, pick, etc. Uh, the head of the uh, piano department is Kathleen Poynton, uh, Poynton, wonderful lady, and uh, really knows her stuff, studied jazz, and so there's a, a twist of jazz in there which is awesome. And anyway, uh, we uh, you know, when you think about it, uh, the price of these courses is so low. Like, if you have a, you're just your general guitar teacher that you go to or piano teacher, uh, you'd be paying them this in a couple months. Uh, and here you have all five guitar courses and three piano courses. Uh, by the way, those three piano courses are pretty well equal to the five guitar courses. There's a lot of information in those. So, uh, yeah, plus you get to learn it all. How cool is that? Just to yeah. mention, too, Chris, that we have in you get access to both the piano and guitar courses. Each of those courses would be approximately five years of work in the regular school yeah. system. Oh, yeah, for, for the whole thing. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I, yeah. I totally agree. Well, thank you, and uh, we'll see you online.